Firstly, we're going to go through the move stage by stage and then you can pick out one or two key points that you think that you might need to work on. Keep all of your body weight over your shoulders. This will keep you on the wave and give you speed on the drop, otherwise you could miss the wave altogether. As you're taking off or completing a previous turn, anticipate the next turn as soon as possible by making eye contact with the next section. Set up your turn by getting lots of speed dropping down the face of the wave. Lower your back knee and shift your hips forward so your trunk weight is over your leading thigh. Be careful not to nosedive though. Pressure your back foot for control. Bottom turn timing is tricky because it's difficult to view the top of the wave. Try to commit to the bottom turn deeper so you don't end up too far onto the flat shoulder of the wave. Commit to the bottom turn earlier so that you are anticipating the section. As you get close to the trough, compress low so your bottom is close to the water and have eye contact with the steepest part of the wave. Don't look too far down the line to the shoulder and miss the best section. Bend your leading arm behind your back and rotate your hips as you put pressure on the heel of your back foot. You need to pivot just on a small part of your rail or tail. A mistake here is to drive too much of the inside rail into the wave for too long, which sends you to the shoulder. Only drive if you need to get round a section, then start to pivot to enable your board to direct up the face. Continue to pull your leading arm behind you. Coming out of the bottom turn, continue to weight your back leg and apply pressure to your back foot to help the board pivot. At the same time, you need to extend the trunk of your body and leading thigh upwards to lift you up the face. Breathe in to help you extend your trunk. Just before you get to the top of the wave, about three quarters up the face, rotate your leading arm all the way around, so your hand is now pointing down the wave. Make sure your shoulders, trunk and especially your hips rotate. If you start the turn too early, you'll do a lame mid-face turn or too late and your board will fly off the back of the wave. Another mistake is to do lots of arm movement but the body isn't actually following. Compress your body as close to the board as possible. This will result in a fast explosive turn. For added spray effect through the turn, push your back foot upwards as you shift all of your trunk weight over your leading thigh. To help you do this, place your leading hand flat over the deck of your board just above your front foot. This will help you to start to travel back down the wave. If you find that you get hung up on the lip, this is because you haven't got enough body compression and or enough weight over your front thigh. In order to get control of the board and avoid nose diving, Apply pressure to your back foot and start to make eye contact with the next section to anticipate your next move. Don't try to remember all of the points, instead watch the turn again and pick out one or two key points that you personally need to work on, then take them into your surf session. For example, if you find that you get hung up at the top of the wave, then work on body compression and putting your leading hand onto the board to help weight the middle or front of the board 